Okay, welcome to the tutorial. Um, this is a tutorial on how to do discography for LPs and iTunes. Um, this is the way Magic Transistor does it. And if you're going to be helping us uh, on this very large endeavor, uh, this is the way you need to do it. And this will serve as a guideline. So we're going to be dealing with LPs in this tutorial. Uh, you know, singles are a little bit different and, and so on. Um, this album is a Tom Waits album called Blood Money, which was uh, from a play that he uh, composed music for called Wojciech. Um, and here we go. So first you want to get to know your iTunes shortcuts. Um, so we're going to click the bottom and you're going to go to the top, hold down shift and click and then you'll see that all of the tracks in the album are highlighted. Uh, you then want to hit Command I as interrogation. And what this does is selects, you've selected all of your tracks, and what this is doing is opening up the metadata information for all of your tracks, as you can see here. So now we're what we're filling in, we're filling in for the 13 tracks of the album, not just one track at a time. Um, so, first we want to make sure that, you know, the fields we can fill in are filled. Sometimes this album artist is blank. Um, it's going to be Tom Waits again. What album artist is, is just indicating the, the name of the artist on the entire album. So, you know, if a song was Tom Waits featuring Chucky Weiss, you wouldn't put Chucky Weiss's name in the album artist. It's just Tom Waits. Um, also, if this was a compilation and, and it wasn't just Tom Waits on the compil uh, compilation, the album artist would be various artists. Uh, we're then going to go to Blood, Blood Money is the name of the album, so you would, you know, put that in. And then you want to indicate that it's an LP, and we do that by parentheses, capital LP, as you can see here. Um, we can see the year there. I'm going to erase it like we don't have it. So now we need to go find the year, and we need to find the record label that the album is on, and we need to find the artwork. So we're going to do that by going onto the internet. <coughs> Excuse me. So you uh, open up your browser, and uh, we're going to look in Discogs. Tom Waits. Blood Money. Discogs. Discogs, if you don't know it, is a great site. Uh, for filling in album information. It's definitely your first stop. It's, it's not a perfect site. It's not always going to have all the information you need, but it's definitely the first place you should look. So here we see the entries. Tom Waits, Blood Money, Vinyl, LP. And here we go. So we can see, now this is important, um, there's different versions down here listed. Um, and as you can see, here there's only one different year, but you know, for some albums you'll have like six different years listed, which is usually about reissues or different countries, you know, release of it. And we're really interested in, uh, in the original year it was recorded and released and the original label it was on. Um, the original label it was on, you can usually track down by, you know, the country of origin. Uh, in this case, it's the United States, so you see that the label is anti. So we're going to go ahead and choose that release. And here it is. So from that, we know that the year is 2002. We fill that in the field. And we know that the label is anti. Now we put the label for LPs in the grouping field in iTunes. Um, it's going to be different for singles, like 12 inches, 7 inches, 45s. But for LPs, EPs, compilations, the label goes in grouping. Um, so, anti records. We're done there. Last step is to find the art. Now, you see Discogs has art here. And what Discogs is giving you is right here. It's different for each entry, but on this entry, it's 500 by 500. I know that just because I've gotten to know the size. And this is the smallest you ever want to use. Um, so, at this point, you know, you could just use this and drag it into your artwork, but I'm going to show you if we wanted to try to find 
larger artwork, or if we couldn't find the artwork in Discogs, how you'd do it. So you highlight Tom Waits Blood Money, you hit Command C, which is copy, and then you hit Command N as a Nightingale, which opens up another window in your browser, and you hit Command V as in victory, and that uh, pastes. So there you have it. Um, you want to search, not in search, but in images. Um, and here you go. Now when you get to images, you need to make this extra step and not skip it. Go to search tools, click on it, go to any size, which is what we do not want. We want large. Click on large, and now the images that come up are all going to be larger images. And, you know, 930, 953 by 953, 1425 by 1425. So, you know, you see we have these variety of sizes. So, you know, do a combination of the largest with, like, the best looking quality. You know, you can see, like, this guy over here might be large, but, you know, it's, it's fuzzy. Like, they blew up a little picture. There's not, there's not real information. So you want to avoid that. Um, you know, so this one looks pretty good. Wait for it to load up. And, you know, don't just drag it from here. you got to go to the size. See, full-size image is three times larger. So click on full-size image. You see how much bigger that is. And now we're going to drag that into the iTunes made a data field. And we're done. And then you hit OK. And you can see it processing. It's it's doing all of the files. If you remember, we you know that's why we chose to work with all of them rather than one at a time. So now it's filling in everything we just filled in, and you are done. Now, after you've completed this in iTunes, and say you want to you know create a new folder and a hard drive that you're going to be giving to us, um, you know with a completed album, you go to your hard drive. Select a new folder, sorry it's being slow, here we go, untitled folder, so you want to do name of the artist, name of the album, indicate that it's an LP, give the year, and then give the quality of the file, which in this case is a 320 kbps um, mp3. You don't have to put mp3 because kbps is only mp3s. Now if the album was not complete, you would also indicate in, in this uh, folder that it was an incomplete album, but in this case it is. So then you're going to uh, highlight you know, the tracks you just completed discography for. Oh no. Wow. I uh, forgot to fill in the composer. So you see it's halfway done there. So this is another thing you can do in Discogs. I've just made this tutorial confusing, so I apologize. Um, you can see here that they're all written by Kathleen Tom Waits. Kathleen Brennan Tom Waits. Kathleen Brennan is Tom's wife. Um, so be sure to fill that in. Sometimes you can fill in also, instead of the composer, you might want to put the, pro the producer of the album in the composer field. Um, but in this instance, we're just going to uh, fill it with the composers. Waiting for that. And sorry for the hiccup. Okay, so now we can drag that over into the folder we've created to make a copy of the of the album with all the completed discography. Now another thing you can do in these folders which I will show you, is to add any additional images or album art that you want. Since uh, you can do it individually in iTunes, you can put as much stuff as you want in, but when you're doing um, 
multiple files at once, you cannot. So you see I just dragged it over into the, the folder on the HD and everything's copying. That's done. I'm going to create a new folder for album art. And then I'm going to go back to Discogs. I should have just kept that window open, but you get the idea. And I'm going to drag this other album art into there. You know, I mean, this is being really anal about it. It's great if you do it. But if you're in a groove, you know, the basics are really just getting the proper year done, the proper label it's from, and the front cover art at a decent size, which was, you know, 500 by 500 or greater. So you can see this is not 500 by 500, this is 400 by 400. And you know, some, some releases you're never gonna find anything better than that, but you have to do your due diligence and look, which includes getting off of Discogs and looking in Google Images. Um, you know, because when they're small files and you blow it up at all, it looks horrible. And you know, what's the point if you're going through all this work to begin with? So now we're done, and you know, you've done your discography in iTunes, you've made a copy and made a folder and dragged it into your, you know, your hard drive, and, and there it is. Thanks for uh, checking this out, and I hope this helps you.